Flooding is one of the most dangerous threats at sea. In this episode of How It Works, we'll tell you how it's caused, why it's dangerous, and how to negate it. In the world of warships, flooding can only occur as the result of being hit by a torpedo or from being rammed. Even in the rare case that a torpedo hits a destroyed part of the ship, it can still cause flooding. Just as with fire, flooding doesn't harm modules, nor does it damage ship parts. But it does directly deduct points from the ship's HP indicator. The Repair Party Consumable restores this damage rather well. Detailed information on how to utilize it effectively can be found in How It Works Repairs. The damage value is measured in percent per second and the amount depends on the ship type and its peculiarities. For aircraft carriers, cruisers and destroyers, it's 0.25%. For battleships and heavy cruisers, Kronstadt, Alaska, Azumra and Stalingrad, it's 0.5%. And for cruiser Admiral Graf Spee, it's 0.375%. There can be two instances of flooding simultaneously, one in the forward part and another in the aft of your ship. The action time of flooding is 30 seconds for aircraft carriers and 40 seconds for other ship types. Thus, a battleship loses 20% of its base HP if one instance of flooding runs uninterrupted and 40% for two instances. Destroyers and cruisers lose significantly less, 10% for each instance. For example, battleship Alabama will be left 12,660 HP short after one instance of flooding and 25,300 120 HP after two. For destroyer Benson, 1,540 HP and 3,080 HP, respectively. Apart from inflicting damage, flooding also reduces the maximum forward speed of a ship by 30% and its reverse speed by 60%. The number of flooding instances doesn't influence the speed reduction proportionately, but the effects of this impediment are especially dangerous for cruisers and destroyers, whose survival often depends on their maneuverability. Whether your ship is afflicted by flooding or not depends on several factors. Let's start by saying that it's impossible to extend the duration of flooding or to inflict further instances on a part of a ship that's already being flooded. Ramming causes flooding if it inflicts 10% or more damage of the target ship's base HP. When a torpedo hits a ship, a calculation of the flooding probability occurs. Each torpedo in our game carries its own chance of causing flooding. You can find these stats in the Torpedo Armament article on the Wargaming Wiki. However, each ship also has its own base coefficient of defence against flooding. In Alabama's case, for example, it equals 0.51. Apart from this, if a torpedo hits a part of a ship that's protected by anti-torpedo defences, the probability of causing flooding decreases threefold. It can be further reduced by installing the Damage Control System Modification 1 upgrade. You can increase the chances of inflicting flooding by mounting the Juliet Whiskey Uno 1 and Victor Lima signals. Now, let's suppose that a torpedo from Minotaur hits a part of Alabama that's protected by anti-torpedo defenses and calculate the results of this scenario. We need to multiply the base coefficient of defenses against flooding by the coefficient provided by the upgrades, the anti-torpedo coefficient, the torpedo's base chance to cause flooding and the signal's coefficients. So, the chances of flooding are 55%. Now, let's unmount the upgrade from Alabama. The flooding chances increase to almost 57%. If a torpedo from Minotaur hits the battleship's forward end, which doesn't have any anti-torpedo defenses, it will inevitably cause flooding to Alabama. The flooding duration in the game can be decreased by learning the basics of survivability commander skill. 
and hoisting the Juliet Yankee Bissau 2 signal. By doing so, you reduce Alabama's flooding time to 27.2 seconds. You can also use the damage control party consumable, which is capable of instantly removing all instances of flooding. In addition, you are immune to flooding while this consumable is active. Now, having learned all this useful information, it's high time to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to stay tuned for the next episode of How It Works.